and we say good morning to Dawn. And a good morning to you. We're here at the Convention Center East where Art Vancouver kicks off tonight, runs through Sunday. We're here with one of the 120 artists that are featured here. And Charles Gitnick, 13 years old. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about your art. Um, it's something that sparks discussions. You use guns. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the kind of art you create and why you create it. Um, well, my art obviously has uh, plastic replica guns in it. Um, and the, my art is basically supposed to show um, how there's a lot of bad things going on with gun violence in the world. And I'm basically trying to say that that shouldn't be happening. So let's walk over to your next piece, because I think that really displays it. From your messaging, it looks like you're camouflaging guns, but you must get people that go, hold on a second, I see your art, are you promoting guns? Well, uh, obviously at first sight people um, are kind of curious about what I'm trying to say um, and sometimes they have a negative view on it, um, but once I start to explain my message and uh, what I'm trying to show through my art, the, their opinion completely changes and they love my art after that. When we think of um, things that have happened in the news and the violence that happens around the world, I'll, I'll mention maybe Sandy Hook as, as one yeah. example. Are you ever discouraged by the kind of art that you're creating? Um, well, sometimes I'll... Um, Sometimes I'll start to feel bad about uh, how people think of my art, um, but then I start to realize that um, with all those bad things going on, that's the time to really show my art um, because that's when the all the stuff is going on and that's when people are talking about it. And we've got your dad here, Neil. I mean, obviously the opportunities that are presented to you is raising a young artist. Well, there's been a lot of parenting opportunities that have come up through Charles's career in art. Um, when uh, events happened in Sandy Hook, Charles actually stopped making art, which he'd been making art every day since he was five years old at that point. And this was an opportunity for you to say, keep going. You should check out this guy's art. Among the other 120 artists, Art Vancouver uh, Thor kicks off again tonight. We'll have more throughout the morning. Glorious inside as well as we get ready for Art Vancouver. And Lisa, you are an artist. Your two daughters are artists. For you to bring a show like this to Vancouver, it's the first year. How gratifying is that? It's very exciting to be able to have such a big gallery all in one place and everybody can come and see everything all at once. And you know speaking of which we met um, Charles Gitnick earlier would he at 13 years old probably one of the youngest artists? Yes he yeah. is the youngest artist here. But obviously coverage around the world who do we have right here? Michelle Rigetti coming from Singapore. And we also have artists coming from where else? From Italy, the Ukraine, Argentina, all over the U.S., all over Canada and B.C. and Vancouver. Including um, Whistler. I mean, for us, we're so lucky Whistler is not that far, but for uh, some people to be able to travel to see some of these artists, it really is a chance for everyone to come here. For anyone that's wondering what Art Vancouver is, what's the concept? The concept is one giant gallery, so you don't have to travel the world to be able to see all these artists in one location. And people will get a chance to meet the artists. Yes, all the artists will be on location. Fantastic. For more details on Art Vancouver, check out their website, um, Jody and Riaz. It kicks off tonight and runs through Sunday. Well, right now we're here at Art Vancouver at Yates Studio and Gallery. And Craig, what are we seeing right now? Who is this artist? Uh, it's Carol Ann. She's from uh, the Vancouver East Side. Okay, and how would you describe her art? Uh, she does a kind of whimsical figure painting, uh, but it has an edgy side to it and a kind of an abstraction with the dark canvas and the figure shape. Just beautiful, and so many opportunities at Art Vancouver to see over 120 artists, including your own art, Craig. How would you describe your art? Oh, it's a kind of impressionism. I, I call it modern impressionism to differentiate from the kind of spotty impressionism of uh, the French impressionists. So how do you get started? You get a blank canvas. Uh, What's the first thing you go to on a piece well, like this, for instance? Well, we stain it with a, a kind of a big, raw, umber, thin, wash drawing of the general shape and, and, and um, you know, making a kind of a People would approximation see, right. of what it's going to look like when it's finished. Because you're, you're very West Vancouver. This is Caulfield here, and so there are, are indications that are very authentic to certain areas, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. It, um, the way it, my stuff works really is it's, it's done in areas of, of colored shaped pieces that correspond to the way this, the, the, what the thing looks like when you look at it. I love the fact that we get a chance to, you know, tap into the minds of artists like you. And really, that's one of the great things about Art Vancouver, which kicks off tonight, runs through Sunday. You get to meet artists like Craig. <laughs> um, for more details, check out their website. But definitely the place to be this weekend.